What a beautiful rainy day. We're out doing just a few stops today. We've got a leak right inside here. The rain let up just a wee little bit, so we're going to do a real quick video leak inspection, see what it might be. It is an actual uh, little, I don't know what you call it, a sunroom, a Florida room, a blast in porch, I don't know. But typically when we see leaks, I'll show you, flip camera around where they come in at, what the problem usually is, but this one looks like it's going to be quality of install again. Right down here on the bottom, there's a little pan right there. You see the carpet's a little wet. I'm just in there. And up top, you can see it, right where the soffit fascia board is. Typically when these uh, porches are built on, it's like a foam core, uh, thin steel on top, and it goes up. They don't go under the roof far enough or they're not flash far enough. Bring these up when I go. A uh, little side tip here, be extremely cautious on what surface your ladders are on. If you don't have somebody, be careful because they can kick out. The more the angle it is, it's easy to slide off. So just FYI, be careful. Whoopsie, the amount of rain hitting my phone screen actually shut the video off. So this is not a repair. We're just going to shove this under here and get it just past the buildup right here. So if you look, any water coming down is now going to hit this aluminum and run off. Again, it is not a repair. It's just to try and stop some of the water coming in from this. And if I see any others... There's another one that's off the side just a little bit. This is going to be a wet day today. It's pretty solid up here. It's mainly right down in this area. So that, combination of this, where's the tear? Right here, that's probably a big part of it too. We're gonna go ahead and just caulk this. It's not gonna be pretty, but it will at least stop and slow up. <clears throat> GSL brand 4500, works good. It's the only one that I like to use. It's the only one I know that works decent in this kind of condition. You do need to kind of work it into on a wet day like this just a little bit. We're going to go ahead and caulk these too. I know it's not pretty. I know these people. We're going to try to get the water stopped for them. Uh, by the way, I'll leave a link to this in the description down below. You're not going to find it at your local stores unless you have a roofing supply house in your area. <clears throat> but you can get it on Amazon. So I'll leave a link there. Just look this area over. We're going to put a very small dab in here, just so that doesn't blow out. And then just work this into, again, this is not a repair. Well, it is for some roofers. There could be other areas, but we got another big blob of rain on the way coming. Phone's getting covered with rain again. It's going to shut off. And right here. When you're using some sort of caulking for your roof, you want to make sure, one, it's going to bond, two, it's not going to eat or degrade <clears throat> the shingles. Some things you put on your roof, it'll actually eat it and uh, just tear your shingle apart. So you want to make sure you're not going to do more damage trying to stop a leak. So a repair for this would consist of removing the shingles over the area of the rotten wood at least three trusses worth because you have to replace this piece of wood <clears throat> so back find a truss over here where the wood is good remove the shingles all the way across up high enough cut the bad piece of wood out new piece of wood synthetic paper ice and water whatever you need to dry it in tucking under the paper above and then shingle it back preferably with new shingles or undamaged shingles these are a bit old they're gonna be a little brittle they're not gonna look pretty so i would do a repair Hope the video helped. Give it a thumbs up. Until next time, be safe. Have a good one.